<laughs> that is too cool for the room. This is Steve Prince, Julie Ginsler, and uh, Ginsler, excuse me. And this is just one of the many cool science experiments she does with her traveling school program. And it's a big career change, by the way. We should mention that that is so neat that that happens. Anybody who's spraying this stuff out, that's that's good. I love this. I'm connected with the right you person. Bet. 22 years in the classroom. After 22 years in the classroom, yes, I have decided to make a big change, and this is what we're going to do now. Um, the, uh, the, what I've discovered after 22 years is that teachers really want to do more science. Sure. They really do. And so um, they're just having the trouble fitting it into the curriculum oh, now see. due to right. all the mm -hmm. mandates that are put onto That's them. because they don't have a Steve Spangler wandering around. <laughs> well, they <laughs> now have a Julie Ginsburg. I guess what I like about this and why I was attracted to it and, and jo uh, Julie joined uh, with us um, some time ago, about five years ago, is uh, that it's, a, it's a, a female role model in the classroom. You know what I mean? A female role model and it totally works. Right. So a, a great way to, to be able to do it. Um, w would you show them some of the cool demonstrations? Absolutely. Um, you know, some of the, the air that we breathe is about 79% nitrogen. So what happens is when you cool that gas down to 320 degrees below zero, hmm. you get a liquid. Now, which hand do you use the, the well, most? I'm, I'm, I'm right-handed, but... You're right-handed? Uh, well, then we'll use this one. <laughs> 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 what I have here, put your hand out. Yeah. All right. It won't hurt you at all. Oh, he's going to use both. He's very Look brave. At that. Look Watch at how, that. how the rubber band goes automatically back to oh. its... My, it's my body heat is... Uh, Exactly. It. You know, NASA was looking for a substance that could withstand cold, and it seems that rubber's ah. one of them. Ah. Look at this. I got balloons for you. Balloons. <laughs> now, the inside the balloon is um, just the air that we breathe. And so when I press it down into the liquid nitrogen, the molecules are actually getting closer together. Okay. That's what's happening. And as that happens, this balloon is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. But what's really amazing is that as that's happening, what's inside the balloon is becoming oh, a that. liquid. Can you Look see that? that? Kids, that gotta, kids gotta love this. Yeah, ah, really sure enough. You know, uh, and part of the problem is this, is that, um, I guess the unfortunate part is that science sometimes is taking a back seat and becoming kind of an extracurricular activity. And so I like the fact that you're putting in the forefront and you're also showing teachers how to integrate the stuff in the classroom, which I That's think is it. even a bigger deal. We want not only the students to get excited, but we want the teachers to get excited as well so that they will get some more creative ideas and fit more science into their everyday curriculum. There you go. And school just about out for this year, so everyone should be scheduling for next year then, right? I'm excited. I'm hoping to see lots of kids and lots of teachers this okay. year. Can, can you do this one more time? Is that a real hard thing no, uh, to no, put together? No, I'd love to do that. So you know, Mark, that they actually um, freeze food. Have you ever done that before? So here they freeze these graham crackers. Have you ever seen that with before? With nitrogen? No. Yeah, so it's flash frozen. Sure. And so now here, watch this. You don't want to eat it flash frozen because if you eat it flash frozen, here, take a look at this. I'm, I'm very embarrassing, Mark. I'm very embarrassing. Do one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very, very, very embarrassing. All cast. Thank okay. you.